In this video, we will discuss Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a wireless technology standard for exchanging data over short distances from fixed and mobile devices. Bluetooth utilizes ISM band radio frequencies from 2.4 GHz to 2.485 GHz. The Bluetooth Special Interest Group, or SIG, oversees development of the specification, manages the qualification program, and protects the trademarks. BLE, which is short for Bluetooth Low Energy, is a subset of Bluetooth version 4.0 and is aimed at very low power applications. The latest version, Bluetooth version 5, and simply called Bluetooth 5, includes features that mainly focus on emerging IoT technology. Bluetooth 5 provides options that can double the speed up to 2 megabits per second at the expense of its transmit range or up to fourfold the range at the expense of data rate. Bluetooth is a replacement for cabling in a variety of personally carried applications in any setting. So this includes sports and fitness wearable devices, such as fitness trackers and smart watches, and also health and wellness wearable devices, including blood glucose monitors and asthma inhalers. Bluetooth also works well in smart home and home automation environments for controlling home lights and by using smart thermostats, smart doorbells and door locks, and more. And when it comes to smart cities and smart buildings, Bluetooth helps out here too by, as an example, enabling the automatic and centralized control of a building's essential systems, including heating, ventilation and air conditioning, lighting, and security. So let's do a demonstration using a Bluetooth evaluation board. For this Bluetooth demonstration, I'll be using Regato's BMD340 evaluation kit, my iPhone, a smartphone app called the NRF Toolbox, and a heart rate monitor demo program. So first of all, let's find the NRF Toolbox app. So now we'll download the app. I'll go to App Store, type in NRF Toolbox. And it's right here. So as you can see uh, by the open, I already have it loaded on my phone. And this is it here. So at this point, I'm going to open the evaluation kit and we'll look at the board and everything else that's included in this kit. So what we have here is the BMD340 uh, evaluation board, a USB cable, an NFC or near field communication antenna, and a quick start guide. Taking a closer look at the board itself, it has an Atmel ARM-based controller, a debug USB port, a power switch, the Regato BMD340 Bluetooth 5 low energy SOC module, which comes with an internal trace antenna, a USB port dedicated to the BMD340 module, a LiPo battery connector, the NFC antenna connector, and four push buttons in addition to the reset button. And on the board's backside, there's only one component, and that's a CR2032 battery holder. And because I'll be using the Bluetooth for this demonstration and not NFC, I won't need to attach the NFC antenna. So at this point, I'm going to connect the USB cable to both the evaluation board and my laptop. And then I'll energize the board. You'll know that the board is operating when it appears as the drive J-Link on Windows File Explorer. Now, let's download the heart rate monitor demo program. Go to nordicsemi.com slash start 52 DK. Scroll down to heart rate monitor. As we can see, when using this program, fake EKG values are broadcasted by the evaluation board and the NRF Toolbox app displays the curve. Click on the heart rate monitor link. Now click on the zip file link. Save the file. Open the folder containing the download. And unzip the folder. Now, to program the evaluation board with this heart rate monitor demo program, open the J-Link folder on the Windows File Explorer and drag and drop the heart rate monitor folder to the J-Link folder. 
When the board finishes programming, the JLink folder notification should appear again. So now I'll turn on the Bluetooth on my phone and I will power cycle the board. I'll click on the Nordic HRM and I'll open up the NFR toolbox. I'll click on the HRM and I will connect and connect to the Nordic HRM. So this display shows us a simulated heart rate in beats per minute. It shows us uh, the location of the sensor, which is on the finger, and it plots the simulated data as it's received. Clicking on uh, this icon, this information icon up here, it displays more information about this, uh, this demo program. And then you can move uh, in time when more data is accumulated. I hope you enjoyed this video from DigiKey. Thanks for watching.